back again with Ben Ted, Alien Force this time, Season 3, Episode 6. Last time on Red vs. Blue, the <laughs> Ben came to this planet because a little girl asked him to, and basically his mission was to just stop these two sides from fighting with each other, all because of this giant statue of their wise and ancient leader, and because the colour had faded away from it, no, no one knew if he was red or blue, and that was the reason why they were fighting. But in the end, Ben sorted it all out by just destroying said statue. So now both sides literally came together to create purple, and now they're against the green guy. Which, I kind of appreciate that... I appreciate that it didn't solve it in the typical way, like the typical way would have been to solve it by just stopping them from fighting. That would have been the boring, typical way to finish it. But he still managed to stop the infighting, but he did it in an unexpected way where he just united everyone against himself. So I appreciate that we got a rather unorthodox ending to that, but quite fun as well. So. <laughs> yeah, and then Kevin's just profiting off war by selling weapons to the opposite to each other's sides. So, yeah. But now we've got to see what episode six brings us. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm not going to waste any more time talking. So, let's just get into season three, episode six of Ben 10 Alien Force, starting right now. Oh my god. Where we're going, you'll have ample and copious opportunity to blow up plenty more. I think you'll recognize that guy's voice. Ship is back! Julie! Attaboy. You better not have her ship. You better not have her ship. Okay. No, 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 no. May, how are you gonna? Yeah, I was about to say, blast them away. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Okay. This is just like that spaceship we borrowed from that guy on the moon that time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You told him you were going to give it back. And I will, eventually. Has he just been stranded the whole time without a way to get off Earth? A way to get off the moon? What if he wasn't powerful? What if he was just a regular dog or something? My dog. I can't get over how cute Ship is. What is it with her and that dog, anyway? Kevin? Oh, please. If, this... if it isn't about his car, Go excuse forth. me, his Back ride, forth. or some alien tech, he's pretty much oblivious. Nah, What's with the back and forth? You know, not on your left. Complicated? Mm -hmm. Complicated. Guys. Girls. No, they're closed. Hey. She has painfully set us on our backside, boy. Mm -hmm. No. No. Ship, don't. Huh. 
Oh no, oh no. Whoa. Nice! I can't even feel it. <laughs> Wait until Ben sees this. <laughs> you should let me do all the talk. No, 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 no. Bad idea. Your talking last time. You do not. It ended. It ended us a war, but. Yes, they are delicious, but we have... Is that a hybrid? ...by the name of Basil. At present, you're on Earth. Hello! He's the court. Hey, I know him. He's the guy who left ship on Earth. How smelling hybrid? Hey, objection! Sustain! Well, how could I not wish to reclaim what is rightfully mine? But you gave him away. Nope. Okay. Oh, no. You could have kept running. Oh. I am Ben Tennyson. The Ben Tennyson. Wielder of the Omnitrix, savior of the universe. I'm sure you've heard of me. No, stop. Stop talking, bro. Have you ever seen an Omnitrix up close before, Judge? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Aye. You idiot, Matt Ben. Oh. Now they've got to take her as well. Oh. Judge Domstall. Dom. May I call you Dom? No. These things can happen when you're chosen to bear the awesome responsibility of the Omnitrix. No! rules in favor of... Ben Tennis. What? What? He's not gonna pay you. He's not gonna pay us! That's awesome. That is exceedingly nasty. <laughs> nice. What we are doing is what you call retreating. I want to retreat with you. <laughs> And they're gone. They won't be back. Oh, okay. He's alive. I actually forgot about him for a second. Goodness, that's stressful. <laughs> well, you certainly didn't think I was going to regenerate with those dreadful Veedle brothers still about, did you? Oh, very well. Keep him. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. But, you know, it... Feels like you're putting a lot of pressure on our relationship. It's just a dog, Ben. <sighs> okay. Jean de Maggio. Yeah, I know I know the name. I know the name, but I don't think I've heard him make that voice before. I can't remember where. I, it's one of those things like I know I've heard that voice before and I know I recognize it. And I know the voice actor, but I can't remember where I've heard that exact voice. But yeah, once again, fun episode. A very fun episode, if I do say so myself. Uh, it was about ship, so that automatically is a plus. More ship, more plus. That's, that's just how it is.
and Juliet as well. well. Yeah, last episode had ship, but it didn't have Juliet, so this had Juliet and ship. So we're all good. Not to mention, oh, some. We've got we've got a way for Julie to actually participate in team in team stuff now. Like Julie could become a proper part of the team now, because she's got that awesome mech suit that ship that awesome ship suit. Awesome suit. Not to mention she seemed pretty much invincible when she had it on. So yeah, whole gist of the episode is Basil, who I didn't expect to see him again. That was a surprise sh shock return. Uh, he hired these two repo men, uh, the Vredel brothers, to repossess Ship after he found out about the how Ship helped with the hybrid invasion. Go take it. We saw a hybrid in here, so that was a nice welcome surprise, and the return of that ship from. Uh, the episode where they went to the moon uh, with what's his name uh, Simeon and then that that janitor on the space on the moon station on the moon space station he gave them he gave them a ship to get he gave them a ship to get back to earth and Kevin just kept it. So that guy has been stranded on the moon with no way to get off ever since. Oh, that's that's so sad. That's so sad. But once again, I like how I like how Ben I like how Ben Ten Alien Force does this. It brings in little parts from different episodes and brings them together. Like the 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 ship from the moon is from a different episode than the hybrid from a different episode than. The Basil, like they were, they were all from different episodes, and then you bring them together to create a new story. So it's really playing about with your toys here. It's like a toy sandbox where you can just put all different kind of things together and make new scenarios out of it. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when they can do that. You just bring in, you just bring in Basil. You bring in Ship. You bring in the, you bring in the hybrid. You bring in the ship from the Moon episode. And you just make a new story out of it. But yeah, a lot of fun. We got a bit of progression on the Ben and Julie uh, relationship. Not so much on the Ben and Gwen, the the Kevin and Gwen one. But yeah, we had that little back and forth bit when they were talking about each other. Like Ben's talking about Julie, Julie's talking about Ben, Kevin's talking about Gwen, Gwen's talking about Kevin. It's just back and forth between them. Oh my god, I was so stressed. I was so stressed and I was just begging Ben to shut up when they were in the court. He was like, I'm I'm the awesome Ben 10 who wields the awesome Omnitrix. Ship is part of my now awesome Ben 10 crew. And then he accidentally changes into Humongosaur and then leans on the desk and destroys it. Oh my god, but somehow it worked. I hate it when they inflate Ben's ego. Like I hated Ben's ego on display in this episode. And then not only that, but they also, but it was rewarded somehow. And then Kevin's the one who gets the gavel to the forehead. Oh, Ben needs a serious humble moment because the last episode he did it as well when he was like, "I am Ben Ten and I am here to stop this war." So he was trying to use his just his reputation to stop a war, and now this episode he was using it in a courtroom. I want there to be one point, one point, when he tries doing it and it just makes everything worse. I just want that moment where he can go back to the Ben 10 that I liked in season 1 and 2. And once again, legal stuff, legal shit being thrown about the place, a repossession order for ship. To be honest, we got, we got, we got, uh, intergalactic, we got an intergalactic court. But it wasn't the one I was hoping for. So yeah, hmm. I, I forgot to rank this episode. If I'm ranking this episode, I don't think I put it as high as the last episode because I I just enjoyed the last episode a lot. There was a lot more moments where I was like, yeah, in the last episode. So, but it was better than the 
I think it was better than the College Party Spring Break episode. So this goes second from the top. So now we have episode 5, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. So yeah, that is how we rank on this. This is how this episode ranks on that on that scale. But yeah, I wonder if we'll see the I wonder if we'll see those Riedel brothers again. If, I mean, they might not come back to Earth, but if we go off if we go off planet like we did last episode, if we go off planet, we might see them again. Possibly. But yeah, that is all we've got for this week of Ben 10 Alien Force. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye!